Hello everyone, this is Mark again for you today with a really special video. I will show you one watch from Patek Philippe for 1.2 million euro and we are going to talk about the whole Nautilus series. So let's go. Right now we start with one classic watch which got discontinued right now. If you see this box, you know it's about Patek Philippe watches and I have for you right now the 5711. Yeah, what happened to this watch? The whole last year it was selling for around let's say 55,000 euro to 60,000 euro and right now the price jumped to 95,000 euro. The watch got discontinued and now two novelties will introduce to the market. This watch was first released in 2007 yeah, and had a list price back in the day. The first list price in euro was 12,900 euro yeah? and the last list price was then 29,000 euro. So, your question probably is, should you buy this watch right now or maybe take another one? Uh, at the moment, I would not buy it for 95,000 euro. Okay, uh, this watch is pretty expensive. Do I think that the watch will drop down in price? No, it will stay consistent, I suppose. But in this price range, there are other watches from this brand which you should consider. And we show you one. It's the 5712. My advice for you is the 5712. Yeah, don't go for the 5711. Everyone wants to buy the 5711. The 5712, there is something going on on the dial. You have a moon phase, power reserve indicator, and also a date, a small second. What else do you need? Yeah, and at the moment, the watch is selling for way less. Yeah, you can get one in perfect condition, full set. Second hand probably around 75,000 euro. So this is a good deal and this would be my watch. It's uh, also something you can wear on a daily base. And this is the first time I can show you one DLC coated 5712 from Patek Philippe. Uh, this is done by Titan Blackout and they coated the whole watch with this special material. It's stronger than steel. You, you will probably see no scratches. It's not that consistent in price. This is something for people who have a lot of watches and just want to wear one black. Uh, but I have to tell you, if this watch goes up in price, it will also affect this one. And uh, yeah, this would be my first recommendation in this price range. And now we go for a little bit more complication watches. A little bit more bigger in size is the 5980. Yeah, there are different options available. You can get one in steel. This one is the discontinued model and one of my all time favorites. At the moment, it's selling in a good condition for let's say less than 100, but you need really, you need to take your time and check out the watches. It's important that they are not heavily uh, polished and uh, the set should be with box and papers and all the booklets. This is important. There are different dial versions available. You can choose the white one. This is the cheapest one. Black is the most expensive and then here the classic one in blue. Uh, as an alternative, the nicest dial in my opinion is here the one in blue. This one is a steel and rose gold watch. Very consistent price, not going up, not going down. Um, if you like steel and gold watches, check out this one. It would be not my favorite. And then there's also the full rose gold one, which sells at the moment under 150,000 euro probably. Uh, it would be also not my favorite kind of watch in this price range. I rather choose Richard Mill. But if you are looking for a more bigger watch than the 5711, check out the 5980. You cannot go wrong with it. It's long time discontinued. The price was higher in the past. Now it stays solid under 100 and I'm pretty sure this one will go up at the end. One watch cannot be missed in this range. It's the 5726. One of the recent Nautilus novelties is the one with the blue dial. This is a annual calendar with a moon face. Uh, and we have here the novelty, the blue dial. It got introduced, I think, 2000, last year or the year before. And first time this reference appeared, I think, in 2013 uh, on a leather strap. Uh, within the whole range of Nautilus models, this is my least favorite. I don't like it. Uh, a lot of people do, yeah. It's a, a little bit more thicker in the height. And uh, you have a moon face here at 6 o'clock. It's more balanced than the 5712 and has a more modern look. A lot of people like this kind of uh, yeah symmetric dial and you have also a, di a day and month indicator at 12 o'clock. Uh, and as a next stop, I will show you one watch in full gold. I have for you the 5711 and man, something happened in the market. 
And before we now continue with the most expensive watch I've ever had in my hand from the brand Patek Philippe, I will show you the 5711 in rose gold. This watch is very popular. I sold it exactly one year ago to one famous uh, Formula One driver for, I don't know, 75,000 euro. <laughs> and now it's over 100 in second hand. I mean, this is, must be a joke. Huh? I don't understand. This watch now retails for over 100,000 euro and um, I don't see an end regarding the price. It's currently in the production and the list price is 51,000 euro. So in case you get this watch, you almost get double on your investment. And on the other hand, I have for you a little bit more younger a line. Yeah, I just want to show you this piece. It's the green Submariner, bigger in size, 41 millimeter automatic movement uh, in green. If you are looking for a watch, I just can recommend you the steel one. This one is in white gold. Uh, the steel Aquanaut currently, the list price is under 20,000 euro and you can buy it for 35 approximately secondhand. But be sure, check out this piece or the one in steel. Uh, this would be my recommendation in this price range. Patek Philippe sports watch for under 40,000 euro. This is a deal. And right now in my hand is a watch you will probably never see again. And I also probably won't see it again in the near future. This one is the reference 6301 in platinum, a novelty which got introduced just by now. And uh, this is a magnificent piece. We will try to show you the stunning sound of this watch. Yeah, The price of this exclusive timepiece with Breguet numerals is uh, over 1 million, 1 1.12 million. And uh, this one, uh, you cannot buy by any chance. You get selected, you need to apply first and um, it has also the complication jumping second here at six o'clock. Uh, but the most interesting thing is that you can choose between the Grand Sonnerie and the regular Sonnerie. So the watch shows you the time with sound uh, and there you can select every 15 minutes or every hour or you can also uh, just arrange here at six o'clock the bar to silent, then you hear no sound. Um, this timepiece, uh, I'm really glad that, that I can show this one to you. And right now, let's explore the sound. The only thing what we need to do is press this button here. Wow. And I have to tell you, I've listened to Audemars Piguet, uh, IWC and all these kind of minute repeaters, but this is truly something unique and special. Also, if we take a look at the movement, this is really what Patek is about. And uh, yeah, I'm just very happy that I can present you this watch. I hope at the end that you like this content. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And then I see you guys next time.